Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install and set up a really cool arcade-style fighting game called Pain Town on your Nintendo Wii. So the link is in the description. I'm just going to head over to it right now. So it's going to bring you to this page. This thing is really cool. It's like an arcade sort of emulator. It's got two game modes. It's got like a Mugen game mode and then just like a normal Pain Town arcade game mode. So this is pretty much on tons of devices, but in this video we're going to be focusing on the Wii. So you want to head up to the download section up here. Then you want to scroll down, as you can see there's lots of releases. Um, the best release for the Wii is version 5, 3.50, so I'm just going to click on that. Then it's going to bring you down to this section. There's two parts you want to download here. You want to download data, so click download on that. And you also want to download Wii. So, depending on your internet connection, these downloads won't take too long, only a few seconds. So once you've got those two files downloaded, just head over to your downloads folder. Then I'm just going to open this one right here. It's just paintown-wii. This has the files in that you need. So I'm just going to drag that out to the downloads folder. So we're done with this file, you can just delete it. Right, so what you want to do on this one, you want to right click, rename, and just call it Pain Town. So you can either just type it in or just delete the last few characters. So there you go, Pain Town. Then we need to open this folder, um, go into select data, and then drag that out into your downloads folder as well. The data folder is about 50 megabytes, so make sure you have that amount of storage on your SD card free so you can add it. Okay so we've got the data folder there now we need to just open it. Okay so the files you want to delete are just PS3 and PSP. Obviously they're not compatible with Wii so just press the delete key and remove them. Now on the um, Wii section here we want to copy these files out into our downloads folder. Then you want to drag these two files into the normal Pain Town folder. Once you're done with the data folder, you can delete that too. Okay, so now we should, we should just have a data folder that looks exactly like this. Since this file has got nothing in, you can remove that. Okay, so now all you need to do is put the data folder inside your Pain Town folder. And it should look exactly like this data, boot.dal, icon, meta, and then a readme file, which you don't actually need. So once you've got all these files, what you want to do is you want to get your Wii's SD card, and this Town folder is going to go into the apps folder. Alright guys, so it just took a couple of minutes just to install all of the files over to the apps folder, so now you just want to check it's there. And look for Pain Town. Make sure it's just called Pain Town as well. And here you can see everything is in there. Okay, so now I'm just going to plug my SD card into my Wii, load up the Home View Launcher, and show you guys how to launch Pain Town. Right, guys, so I'm on my Wii right now. I'm just going to go over to my Homebrew channel. As you can see, Pain Town is right here. If you can't see it, you can just scroll across using plus or minus. So I'm just going to select this by pressing A and then load it. Okay, so just press A once you've selected your language. Now we have lots of options up here. There's this one, Mugen mode, and that is like an arcade fighting style thing as well. And then there's just normal Pain Town Arcade. I'll just show you this guy, this one here, right now. So just press A to launch it. Okay, so once it's open, you can just select which one you want. I'm probably just going to choose um, Arcade Mode. As you can see on this type of game mode, you actually have to unlock characters. So I've only got this character right here, so I'm just going to press A on it. And then it's just going to say a sort of story mode. Um, you can probably just skip this by pressing A. Right 
mode guys so it just takes about um, 30 seconds to load into the fight once you're in you, it's fine it runs really smooth use the d-pad to move and use one and two for attack Okay, guys, so we won that match. If you guys want to exit, just press the um, home menu button and then just scroll down to exit. Okay, so now we're just going to test out the normal arcade mode. Now this one takes a while to load, but once you're into it, it seems to run fine. So just press A to load it up. Then you can choose single player, multiplayer, or single and AI, where you have someone helping you. I'm just going to choose single player. Right guys, so once you're on this screen, you can just select characters. There's loads of random characters on here. As you can see, we've even got Ninja Turtles and Venom from Spider-Man. So we're just going to select this first guy up here just by pressing A. Right guys, so as you can see, I'm in normal arcade mode right now. This actually took about four minutes to load. I was actually surprised how long it took. But once it has loaded, the game seems to play really well. So we're just going to we're just in a fight right now. What I'm not Oh you press B to fight, okay. So you use the D-pad to move, so you, you pretty much hold your controller like, like this on its side. You press the D-pad to move and then press B to fight. Right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.